Hi guys, welcome back to Civilization 6 Gathering Storm playing the crazy Nzinga Void Singers game. Uh, going for cultural victory through faith. By the way, I totally forgot to mention my religion of bullcrap. Currently, we are dominant in six cities. Basically, every city that I settled gets a religion automatically because of religious colonization belief. Obviously, I went with reliquaries to get the triple guild of faith and tourism per relic. The next belief, I would love to have world church. Big fan of culture. I think we can grow our cities and uh, earn some extra, extra culture with that belief. Because it's really important for us to get to theocracy government, number one, then Mount Saint Michel, number two, and then Cristo Redentor would be useful, San Basil's would be good, and conservation civics. So let's go through the tree, civics tree, as fast as possible. So you can see our face generation and our capital is getting kind of out of hand. It's plus 70. Science and culture still left to be de desired, but all we have to do is just keep pumping that faith. And by the medieval era that comes in a couple of turns, void singers will provide. So look at our tourist culture victory. We're obviously leading. We're leading on turn 84. That's pretty, pretty amazing. Found this little spot plus four culture for this theater square. I think I'm going to throw down a an entertainment complex here maybe another mm, or maybe entertainment complex here and another theater square here i'm gonna have to think about that i did settle the city of quilla right there on the border with molly and it's gonna hold its own building the walls now this little wonder here is under construction and I planned for it very meticulously. <laughs> I put the Magnus in the city. Present for you my proudest moment. Switch into Petra. So Petra is going to take us 400 uh, cogs, gears, whatever we want to call them, production. I have four chops of 80 each. So it's 320, right? Technically, I don't know what stone is going to come in at. But here you have one. And at two, 23 turns left. Switch back to the holy site. Move the builders to the next chops and we'll be done with this beautiful Petra. I wish the lake wasn't here, but that's fine. Um, this is going to be this is going to be good. And hey, maybe we'll find Nazca somewhere and throw down some Nazca lines. It's going to be some yield porn for you i'm not a big fan of yield porn i'm trying to optimize the game and make it more efficient but uh we still have what three turns left and as you can see i'm not getting <laughs> not getting to the golden age in the next era the medieval era that's unfortunate but i mean we have a bunch of cities already and with two settlers on the way I actually am going to get another one, or maybe even two. What do we have here? Four or five. Not bad at all. And just keep expanding. This is the name of the game. The one thing that I want to get to is Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Best thing about it is that it provides an additional charge to the engineer. I mean, this spot for Mausoleum would be great, but would love to get it um, but more importantly more importantly more important than mausoleum is uh, Kilwa and so I am trying to get to it as soon as I can as well all right without further ado let's switch to Petra and chop 80 here and also 80 so I don't understand. I chop three, four, 320 production, and I got Petra built, which was 400 production. That's odd. If anybody can explain that to me uh, or have as any ideas why that happened, I'm not complaining, but still don't understand. Anyway, finish the holy site here. 
purchased one settler with faith but there is no time to waste so i'm going to build another settler in kabasa in the capital especially considering they already started just want to move the magnus there so i don't lose population with his provision title found a spot for kilwa and i still have my great engineer alive from the first <laughs> recruitment one of the first if not the first great engineer medieval era comes and guess what i'm still sending the money on her world tour get into that extra era score way to start the new era right babylon has crossbowmen well at least they don't have flight or airplanes just yet so that's good this looks like an awesome peninsula, Paipatahi Peninsula. I can fit two cities there. That's awesome. Get some error score at the least. And those type of yields are always welcome. I'm gonna plop down the holy site right there. And build, not build, buy a building. Build a district, buy a building, right? That's why we need a lot of gold. Because you can't buy a district for a very long time until you uh, promote Moksha or Reina. But in this game, I don't think I'm getting to those promotions at all. Now here, I want to make sure that the city is working the right tiles. Super important. And I'm doing the same thing. Plop in the holy site. And we have another city coming up. So, at this point, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable with the expansion. And I think I did a pretty decent job. The next big step is to build Kilwa. Now, I want to make sure I fulfill the quests. These are pretty straightforward. Like, train a spearman with Johannesburg, I can do that. Um, train a horseman of Arma. I can definitely do that. Maybe Eureka for shipbuilding? Is it two galleys? Can we build a spearman? We sure can, but I don't want to waste six turns. I'd rather purchase one. And very easy to do when you have some resources that no one wants to buy. What the hell? Those are diamonds. Well, in that case, you always can go to the diplomatic favor. Or, in the worst case scenario, can go to the exchange tab on the quick deals mode or if you don't have the mod you can you can just offer the AI some gold per turn in exchange for lump sum to get to that 260 to buy the spearman another thing i wanted to mention check out the yield so if we look at mbanza butter we got plus five from faith, plus five science, and as well, plus five culture. But Kabasa, our crazy city, it's got plus 15. That's the 20%. 20% from the Void Singer's ability, of course, where 20% of faith is converted to gold, science, and culture. And that's why my focus has been building holy sites uh, i wanted to build as many as i can for the medieval era but i still fell behind and now the districts are getting more and more expensive <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of a problem but i don't think it's a big problem all right now that we got to machinery this is time this is the time to build kilva i have a spot prepared for it just need to buy the tile Harvest the rainforest, get that boost for production, and boom, 24 turns. There's a way to boost it, probably. I do have a unique unit, though, that will help Aeroscore. What else is going to help Aeroscore? First seafaring unit. With a new government title, I definitely have to go with Pingala, because we have to get to the grants title that increases production of great people points by like a hundred percent obviously carve is back in we're still staying with autocracy for the 
Wonder Production. And here is the next belief. As promised, let's see if we have the World Church. And we do. It should help our culture growth pretty significantly. And guess what? I still have my great engineer, Imatap, who could help me speed up the kill web production. So this is another huge milestone. We've got the divine right, along with monarchy, that will help us earn influence points with city-states, and, more importantly, Mount San Michel. So I'm gonna go and get monarchy, and install some regular policies like Carve and scripture for more faith. Four turns left for Kilva. That's perfect. And we're chopping the woods and forests where we can because I want to make sure I get those holy sites. I haven't been successful exploring much here as I ran into barbs. But <laughs> if the Muhammad doesn't go to the mountain, then the mountain comes to the Muhammad, or in this case, Saladin. So hopefully we can be friends. I also wanted to create my uh, unique unit, Baba for some extra error score. Alright, with one more chop, we're able to build Kilwa pretty quickly. That's a pretty cool location for it too. Right on the... Like a channel. The channel city, pretty cool. Well, guess what? Um... I need to build San Michel right in the city in Cabasa. And the only the only tile that I have available for it is right there. And so this is what I have to do. Naturally, the one thing we can do is chop. So I'm going to get a builder and chop out a couple of woods right here as they don't seem to be crucial to the city development. Now, I'm still on the hunt for different quests. I do need to recruit a great merchant and convert candy. Somehow, Babylon is sending their missionaries and convert it. Oh, candy just lost the followers here. So I'm going to get a, an apostle and send it over there. And another thing that I wanted to do gonna get to reform church really soon so theocracy is the next goal along with San Basil's I do have a couple of alliances going uh, Saladin I think I got culture I don't know why but Hammurabi I got religious alliance I mean I think we have Skin faith um, from each other that's not a big deal and then Molly naturally Economic Alliance, uh, I think. Yeah. I mean, we have one from Mali, and that's about it. As I was saying, <laughs> I was hoping for a little bit more, but it is what it is. But I got the Apostle. I'm going to go and convert candy. We got some chops to do. You can see now the woods are 100, right? So the chops are increasing in value as you go through the civics and um, technology tree so super important to go through it relatively quickly again right uh, and I think I want to get Mbanza in and uh, we'll provide adjacency to the holy site as well it's our unique district some gold some food always good I meet Indonesia, Gatarja. That's great. She's not much of a competition. I want to make sure I have all the deals going. Sell and purchase all the luxuries, actually, to keep up the amenities, right? And sell my own. It's too bad I don't see any great works for sale just yet. Convert candy and get that city-state back under our influence. I also got a great merchant, Ibadlan, just for the trade route capacity and to fulfill the city-state quest. I don't know if it was Hong Kong or Mexico, one of them. Trying to do some exploration using my missionary to 
We cover some land there with Saladin and a bunch of little islands here. It's an interesting like archipelago here that I would love to settle. I'm sure I can find a bunch of like spots with high appeal to settle um, like national parks. Oh, another milestone reform church finally giving theocracy cheaper everything with faith. As far as policies go, it's always scripture. I'm going to keep Gothic architecture for a while. And I think I'm going to do some improvements. So I need the serve them. Constantly have to go through the deals mod to ensure I raise the gold. So diplomatic favors, selling open borders, whatever I can, except my great works, obviously. And through the exchange gold per turn for the lump sum so that I could make immediate purchases in my cities instead of spending and waiting for production. So I'm buying a lighthouse, I'm buying a trade route that will pay off. The one thing that I really messed up actually is I for some reason hired Moksha instead of promoting Pingala. I need to get Pingala to Grant's title and I didn't do that and it's so important because I have Oracle there I want Pigala to generate those great people points and really screwed that up really screwed that up it's a game requires oh and Phillips here all right that's awesome uh, looks like he's settling these islands and we gonna make some deals naturally he has no great works whatsoever Gotarja, on the other hand, helps a little bit with the great work of writing. Thank you very much. Another error score for us for Mbanza. Sending a trade route to Mbanzambada once uh, Magnus is there. It's going to provide even more yields. It looks like I missed out on the mausoleum. So that's not going to happen, but it looks like there's an opportunity to build a good district. Perhaps a commercial hub or maybe even a theater square right next to Kilwain City Center. That would be nice adjacency. I do need to prop up the number of the trade routes. So a commercial hub harbor these districts will bring trade routes with marketplaces and lighthouses so buy gold and faith that's the new motto for the save game for me <laughs> here is pretty much the most important wonder of the of the game as the whole strategy is based on it I'm gonna build a bunch of apostles but before I do that let's put diplomatically again because there are couple of city-states that I'd like to send envoys to, Anshan and Mitla, and guess what? Anshan provides science to relics, so I'd like to be a suzerain of it. Oh, boom, Nazca! That's perfect. That means we can build Nazca lines there, and I want to become a suzerain as well. Boom! I guess we discovered a natural wonder somewhere. This is amazing. I mean, I had like nine envoys to spare. Next wonder up is St. Basil's Cathedral. So plus 100% to religious tourism in the city and three relic spots. So super important. But before that, I need to build an aqueduct, make sure the city grows. So I have to build like several apostles. And I'm building them in different cities because I want to figure out which way do I send them to Arabia and uh, the continent or maybe Babylon and Russia have a bunch of uh, apostles to fight and sacrifice my own for relics. Because I have seen Babylon's missionaries and Russian missionaries running around so I have high hopes for a very fast relic generation right next door. My missionary is on a mission but he is not making out of there so much for the recon by this missionary. That was a waste. We're all apprentices in a craft. All that glisters is not gold. 
as far as civics research, I love privateers, but in this case, I'm going to focus on enlightenment and get humanism along the way to build the archaeological and art museums. I think we're doing pretty well in the Department of Great Works. Five relics, so the palace is full. Amazing. I mean, the output of tourism, 150, that's insane. And so the first Apostle Wars start. Russia has plenty of source of relics, let's put it that way. Doom, here's the first one, the Tooth of the Prophet. And this is basically what I'm going to do throughout the game, the rest of the game. Build up my culture expand get as many great works as i can through trade and and earning relics and i also have so much faith that i can just earn great people um as many as i can contrary to what i thought uh, arabia doesn't seem to have too much of religious force there they just have a bunch of missionaries and I don't have to hunt and hunt them down, but I, I might just concentrate on Russia and Babylon. That seems like the right way to do it. In the meantime, I need more gold. I don't want to spend turns building stuff, so I am rushing and spending my gold per turn. Ooh, here is Pachachuti. Man, and he is the strongest sieve in the game, and he is far. So this is kind of a problem because you want to make sure you have trade routes to every sieve. And my my cities are not going to reach him. So I might have to settle settle some kind of a colony close by and open a trade route. I need a lot of culture in, in Coop with the tourism. But it's crazy I don't have any cultural city-states. That's insane. It's absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like that. I, I, I have to explore more somehow. I'm sure they're hiding somewhere there inland on another continent. All right, here comes the Renaissance. And with Renaissance comes golden age that are overshot by quite a bit contrary to popular belief i'm gonna pick mina mentality instead of exodus first of all i'm not playing a religious game i don't think i'm gonna generate enough faith to you know war warrant the movement of apostles but what i can do with mina mentality is buy archaeologists think about that all right, I got my St. Basil's Church. Perfect. Strikes home, too. You know what? We're not going to stop there. I need a builder with two, five charges, rather, because I'm going to try to rush Forbidden Palace. Forbidden City. I'm slowly making my way down the city-states list. Uh, we So we have two cities, suzerainty over two two religious two industrial and i'm on my way to get the scientific as well still no cultural city states this is just a shame a shame this game is in shambles without the culture city states guys turn 129 the mistake i made is not building enough theater squares producing culture is still important it still plays into the culture of victory it's not just tourism, right? Um, you still need to have more culture than other guys. And Pachakuri and Peter, they're they're right there. So it's taken me a little longer. I feel like I probably lost like 20 turns here. Well, <laughs> that's a little ambitious. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing my thing. Uh, sending the um, apostles across the border. To fight uh, Babylon has quite a bit so I'm able to actually send them across and get some relics 
at this point listen uh, i'm up to a bunch of relics uh 12 no 11 and uh i feel like i can pretty much fill it up the fact that i have <laughs> ashan that provides science for the each relic is kind of crazy i i mean this whole game is bunkers it's completely bunkers um it's it's on auto drive right now i mean i'm building wonders that i don't even really need colossus yeah i'll get an extra trade route sure um i'm building grand master's chapel i mean am i gonna build units probably not i don't freaking need them i should have built like foreign um embassy agency whatever it's called Anyway, uh, the 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 uh, yields, the yields in the capital. I mean, look at this madness. Plus forty from modifiers, right? Like just like we planned. Amenities, keeping the amenities up. I'm actually, I'm surprised it's only plus ten. I was, I'm hoping to get it ecstatic. I need like plus need. Yeah, I already purchased all it. So I'm going to buy. Not buy, but I get I'm gonna get the um to conservation and start building national parks. But forty percent, huh? That's insane. Um it's only twenty five percent for culture though. Why is that? I don't know. Uh and only ten percent for gold. Oh, you know why? Because like an idiot, I promote it moksha instead of pingala it was some kind of a idiotic move but by this time i should have been at grants already instead this is crazy though why is it getting more science i have no explanation for it i really don't know in any which case i mean these yields are 700 700 faith um I think I have I have holy site and most of the cities and the, the big ones right and um I only have two theater squares that's <laughs> and two campuses that's where the problem is two theater squares right in the culture game that's that's not right so I have to fix that I mean I have a beautiful spot right here for the next theater square and um, i'm building another theater square in mpinda and i'm also sending my settler to this little area here um i know there are barbs but i'm hoping you know what i'll go and plop a city right right here and see what the barbs can do i'm gonna come with the musket men the only musket men that i have uh, this is insane because this game has been so peaceful i have eight units but um, two of them are scouts, basically. Um, and I still have three archers because look at the relationship. I mean, it's been amazing. I'm going to renew some friendships uh, right now. I mean, these guys, they're just, they just love me um, for the most part. And we are going to continue. We're going to continue this relationship. I mean, Julius, he's kind of a douche um he doesn't even want the embassy but i think the more mm, cities i found because i have another one right here the more cities i fo found uh, the uh, better his disposition will be now i'm trying to gear up and build more trade routes um a mistake i made is basically concentrating on domestic trade route because I mean plus six plus three to Mbanzambada, right? Um, because of uh, Magnus's title, but now it's too late. Now I have to switch up to international trade and open up that uh, modifier because I am not getting to the merchants that who 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 provide um, boost to the trade routes. They're too late. They're too late. I'm still in Renaissance and I feel like I only have, I don't know, 20, 30 turns, 40 turns probably to go. So, um, yeah, that's the state of affairs. Uh, super excited. Void Singers, I mean, 
a great mode, but I don't think I'm going to play it again because this is just way... It feels way too much like cheating. Way too much. Um, but this set of wonders, this set of wonders is basically, you know, it's your go-to for the culture, um, culture victory. One would kill one. So at this point, it's rinse and repeat type of thing. I'm still going to expand. I'm still going to generate relics. I'm going to look for spaces. I'm going to look for land to build uh, national parks and seaside resorts so that I can push my tourism even higher and eventually get into the rock bands. On this note, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you for the one final episode real soon. Just one more turn.